think you are playing the best basketball of your career. Thank you. It was uh, obviously great to see KD. Is <clears throat> anytime you come off an injury, we've talked about it a lot. Just to see him playing at, at a high level, um, it's great for basketball. It's great for the league. You know, um, no fans, so the atmosphere wasn't what it was supposed to be. But um, you know, for 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 either team, and it's kind of a very unique situation. But um, you know, it was, it was great to see, uh, great to see him out there. Obviously, not great to see the way that they play, but it was uh, it was a good night. Yeah, James Hill with Black News Channel. Uh, Kevin was back tonight, as you alluded to. Uh, you guys help hang some banners in there, leave some banners in there. When you see guys that you guys spent time with in your career, how special is that? And talk about tonight, uh, the video tribute and, and seeing KD. I didn't actually get to see it. Uh, I'll watch it later. But it um, it was... It's always, I mean, you have you cross paths with some of the guys throughout the league, but when you actually, you know, team up and like you said, win championships, there's a different bond and a different feeling. You're still competing, <clears throat> so it's not lovey dovey out there, but, um, you know, those memories are near and dear for sure. So um, there's a, a fine balance of, you know, appreciation of, of basketball at the highest level, talent at the highest level. Um, there's a lot of that on our court tonight. And and also, you know, like you said, the the history and the memories that will never be taken away from us. But you know, it's about what's happening now and, and moving forward. And I know we're all on that same page. Hey Steph, when you go through battles like that with somebody for so many years, is there a sense of love and brotherhood that just remains forever? Always. That's you know part of uh, you know. Achieving greatness and winning championships for sure. So um, that always remains the same. What do you think was the issues tonight? Um, I mean, they they play well. Obviously, spreading the floor on offense and. You know, making us guard multiple actions, and obviously, the, you know, James did a great job of, of playmaking and controlling the possessions. And and you know, there's a period at the end of the first quarter. Uh, I think it was tied. They went on a, a run to end that quarter. We took I, I took some quick shots. It didn't go in. If they go in, it's a different story. They didn't. That fueled their offense. Um, a couple fouls there, and then next thing you know, it's a nine point lead in the first quarter. And then, you know, from there, uh, we just didn't – we weren't able to assert ourselves defensively. And they're a very talented offensive team and have a lot of options. And, um, you know, you got Joe Harris space in the corner and you got, you know, Guy Roman and three guys that can, you know, play make it. It, it tests you. Um, it's funny. It's kind of like the complete opposite of last game against Orlando where everything was in the paint. And then this one's – there's nobody in the paint. So it was, a, it was a tough adjustment on the fly. And, you know, we didn't we didn't play well enough at all to uh, make it interesting down the stretch. Steph, how would you compare uh, the KD you went against before you played with you, and the KD that you going against now after after playing with you? Look pretty similar. You know, uh, nothing different about his game. There's. You can't tell that he played with you guys at all for three years. You say you can't tell he played with us. What do you mean? Draymond was talking about how you can see some of the elements in his game that that's improved, you know, from playing with you guys. And, and KD said he learned a lot. So I was wondering if you could tell that there was been some enhancements. I think uh, we're all, you know, obviously him especially uh, more experienced than, you know, four years ago. And, you know, the injury side, I think he's, when he's healthy, he's better than he was four years ago for sure. Um, I think he even made a joke during the game about one of our pin-ins that we got that uh, he noticed. And we talked about, like, what that first year was like uh, making that adjustment. But... I mean, their offense is a little bit different in terms of uh, how they get into their spots, you know. Um, 
in that that small out that they had out there there might be some similarities but it's a little different and uh like he's better and i think we're all better uh but he definitely is seems you know a little bit um more experience if that's if that's even possible for for a guy like that uh, Steph, what went through your mind when you saw Draymond on the floor uh, in pain, grabbing his right knee? I, I didn't see it when he uh, – I didn't see him in live action, so I, I didn't have, like, that kind of jump effect. And after the play was over, our coach called timeout, and, I, and then I realized he was he was down. But uh, he, he mentioned he was going to be all right as soon as everybody got over there, so that's obviously uh, a sigh of relief. But – um, in the moment, most guys <laughs> are optimistic. So you, you know, thankfully, went to halftime, got it checked out, and, and hopefully, he doesn't have any lingering effects, um, you know, for Monday or, or beyond, because uh, we obviously need him. Yeah, from the night hey, line, how have you seen guys handle kind of the up and down nature of this season, and what's gonna be the key to kind of be on the consistent end of things? We've handled it well, I mean, because it hasn't uh, flipped really on either side. We haven't won three in a row. We haven't lost three in a row. So it's 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 frustrating when you uh, seem like you have a little bit of momentum and then drop the ball a little bit. But our resiliency to not let go of the rope and let it go the other way is, is, is definitely comforting, um, you know, through this early part of the season. So... Uh, between now and the off, and, and the break, you know, we we do need to find some momentum. We do need to put multiple wins together in a row and uh, like confirm our identity as as a team. Um, so that after the break, we can hopefully pick up and and make a huge run. But uh, you know, there's no panic at all when you have a night like this against a good team that we we know how to bounce back and uh, plan to do that. Steph, from my standpoint, it looks like you're playing MVP basketball. You've done it before. Uh, talk about it from your perspective, what you see out there. I mean, you're scoring, you're doing your thing, but to me, it, it looks like MVP. Uh, what do you say, and, and what's it like for you personally? Uh, kind of a question of what Marcus said. I'm just trying to get better, trying to continue to elevate my game, uh, no matter what the narrative is around our team, no matter – um, how people think about you know how you, how long your prime can last. It's all just about my own confidence and what I'm trying to do out there on the floor. So um, obviously nothing to prove, but a lot to uh, to do um, in terms of you know my own expectations and uh, and expectations for this team. So it's going to be a different challenge than it has been for these first 27 games, and you know it's going to be like that for the last you know 45. So just got to. Um, continue to do my job at the highest level and let the rest of it kind of take care of itself. Let's go. One uh, last question. Uh, go ahead, friends, Mark. What, 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 um, what, guys, you never really got to worry the Nets tonight, and the team the went down in the third quarter. Uh, what did you miss to compete with the Nets tonight? You just got to play better. Who you say you want to? All right, yeah, you just got to play better.